On the path to the D.C. area, some involved in a nationwide trucker convoy stop in Leroy. Our Demetrius Sanders joins us live in studio tonight. He shows us what drivers say they're protesting against and why supporters came out in dozens. Demetrius. Well, Shelby Mark, those I spoke to say they believe COVID-19 mandates put in place by the federal government are unconstitutional and hurting truck drivers. So now they've taken to the roads to make their voices heard. Speaking out against COVID-19 mandates, since February 23rd, truckers and other drivers from across the country have formed what's known as the People's Convoy. A lot of truckers are getting hit, a lot of state workers are getting hit from the mandates. Um, forced jabbing, uh, issues like that that are unconstitutional. The convoy started in California and is expected to end in the Washington, D.C. area. Tuesday, before meeting the main convoy in Indianapolis, drivers from Illinois and Wisconsin met in Leroy. There's a whole lot of cars coming up from different states, different, different areas of life, right? Different careers, all kinds of different creeds. The group met by dozens of supporters backing drivers calling on government to end the national emergency concerning the COVID-19 pandemic. This has been a long road for everybody. Everybody is ready to get back to a normal life. We need the government to step up and take care of our country. Cooksville resident Troy Arnett says he drove a semi for 20 years and he attended Tuesday's event to support drivers who he says are treated poorly. Everything they do every day is harder than it is for everybody else. Uh, you eat where you can park, not where it's good for you, where you can park. And he says he hopes the convoy will bring attention to the lives of truck drivers. Forever they've been treated as second class citizens and hopefully this will help them. Now those in the convoy say they will not enter Washington DC proper. They are expected to make it into the area on Saturday. Mark.